the Young's modulus of a brass and the steel are respectively 1.0 into 10 raised to 11 newton per meter square and 2.0 into 10 raised to 11 newton per meter square. A brass wire and a steel wire of same length are extended by 1 mm each under the same force. If the radii of brass and steel wires are RB and RS respectively, then the question is: Hamare paas a brass wire hai, ek hamare paas steel wire. Young's modulus of brass wire is equal to 10 raised to power 11 newton per meter square, and Young's modulus of steel wire is 2 into 10 raised to power 11 newton per meter square. Dono ki dono wires ki same length hai, let's suppose n, and dono ki dono wires may same extension hai, delta l 1 mm, and dono ki wires pe humne same force lagaya, let's say suppose f, and radii of both radii of brass wire is given to be let's say R B, and radii of steel wire is R S. So humme batana hai relation between R B and R S. We know Young's modulus is equal to force into length divided by A into delta L. So this implies Y of brass wire divided by Y of steel wire is equal to force into length divided by area into delta L. So this will be force on brass wire, length of brass wire, area of brass wire and delta L of brass wire. In the similar way, we will put the values of for the steel wire, force on steel wire, length of steel wire, area of cross section of steel wire and delta L of steel wire. So we know delta L for steel, brass wire and steel wire are same. So these terms will get cancelled and force on both the wires is same. So this will be cancelled or the length of both the wires is same. So we will get yp by ys area is pi rb square and rs square so this will be pi rs square and this is pi rb square pi se pi will get cancelled this implies rs by rb will be equal to root 2 because the ratio of actually there is one mistake this will not be root 2 this will be 1 by root 2 on substituting the value of yb and ys we'll get the ratio to be 1 by root 2 so rs will be rp by root 2 so as per options option b is the right answer